is uh, something we, it's been kind of ongoing for um, a few years now, but something that I'd like to have a refresher on every year or two, uh, which is our luxury home of the week sort of spotlight program that we have. Um, I don't think, I think it has been a good while since we've talked about it, but basically what we started was something similar, uh, not directly copied, but I'm not, but not, not copied uh, from what the Coldwell Banker brand does. So the Coldwell, Brink, Coldwell Banker brand, that's a, actually a tongue twister. They have uh, what they call their luxury home of the week or something similar to that, where they feature a property um, on their social media and on their you know uh, website and stuff. And these properties are often in excess of 15, 20 million and are just these stunning properties. But we realized like we have that in our Schmidt brand as well. We have these stunning properties and we have four amazing regions, Michigan, Ohio, Florida, and the Virgin Islands with so much diversity of those properties. A luxury property in the upper peninsula of Michigan versus the Cleveland area versus Florida and the Virgin Islands, they're all gonna look vastly different. And we wanted to highlight those properties. So we started uh, quite a few years ago now, our luxury home of the week program. The cool thing about this from for an agent is that it is if your property is selected, it is a complimentary advertising campaign at no cost to you. So basically, if you have a luxury property and by luxury property, we, we just mean just like the luxury magazine over 500. It does not need to be uh, over your market's threshold as those have been changing. We've kept it at the 500 level. You can submit your property to be uh, uh, well, I guess. So, oh, chill out, buddy. The dogs gonna go crazy. Uh, to be considered for luxury home of the week. Now, I use that word strongly. Considered it just because you submit does not mean it will always be featured. Um, you have a good chance, but you will always be notified if your property is being featured. But um, to be submitted for luxury home of the week. How you get to that form is simple. Unsurprisingly, you're gonna go to Schmidt Resources where we are right now. You're gonna click on uh, any of your regions, and then. In your luxury squares, where we are here. Oops, hold on. Get out of your bomb bomb. Not now. Uh, I went to Michigan. I clicked on the luxury square, and we have a square down here for the home of the week submission form. And if I if I'm if I'm right about that, no, just right uh, right yeah right down here, home of the week submission form. Yeah, this beautiful house out here, or home out here. And if you were to click on the home of the week, oh wow, I should share my screen. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, Maybe I know. Just in time. You. Just in time. Uh, Sophia's on this call too. What are you doing on this call, Sophia Bachigalupi? You don't, you do not need to be on this. Don't report anything back to your mom, please. Okay. All right. Miss Carrie asked me to be here. No, she didn't. Okay. So here we are back here. So we're on Schmidt Resources. So here we are. We're right here on Schmidt Resources. We're going to click on uh, any of the regions to get here. So we'll click on Michigan. And from Michigan, we're going to click right in the global luxury square, right in the top row. And from there, we're gonna be in our luxury resources square where we have all of our um, uh, resources. By the way, just uh, for all of our staff here, I have been told that all of the proofs for the luxury magazine have gone out to our agents as of last night. So if your agent submitted a proof or uh, you know purchase ad space in the luxury magazine, they should have a proof in their inbox, just FYI. Uh, anyway, scrolling down to the home of the week submission form right here, you're going to click on that and it's going to bring you to a Google form. Now, the Google form, uh, as always, we try to make it as simple as possible, but I always want to make sure that I have the information that I need so that when uh, we reach out, when we start the ad campaign, we don't need to ask for anything else. Because just like the luxury magazine, uh, I don't want, I want it to be as painless for the agent as possible that I'm not saying, Hey, I need this or that. And they're, you know, agents are busy. I want to have everything right away so that it's as smooth as possible for you. So basically um, it's contact information. Uh, it is links to your social media, the listing itself. Uh, and then here's the big, here's the big part that of course um, people can get tripped up on. We do need to have a professional uh, shot video. So a high res professional walkthrough video uh, we've done this for years now and we've done it where we have, um, we've done like slideshow videos where it's kind of just, you know, the nice photos and the music kind of walking through. We've done it before with vertical video and the stats just are like by a long shot are just not as good. They really, they really aren't. And 
what we're doing when we do these videos is it's kind of it's kind of trifold where we are promoting the brand of course but more importantly we're promoting the agent and we're promoting the property and we want all three of those things to look as beautiful and professional as possible uh to the consumer so it is it is required that we do have a high-res professional video walkthrough and there are a couple of ways for you to send that to us. Um, some agents like to upload the video file right here. Like if you've got the video file on your computer, you can just click here, add the file and drag and drop. Or if you have it in Dropbox, if you have it in Google Drive, if you have a link for it, if you, you know, whatever's easier, you can paste the link right here. So if we're just to zoom in a little bit on these two boxes to really highlight these, you've got link to high res video, or you have video file upload. You do not need to do both, but you do need to do one of these. If I get a, if we get a submission with neither of these, then we have a problem and you know it's hard to chase things down and, and stuff like that. So it's highly, highly required that you do one of the two of these. We don't have them as required fields because we don't want you to have to do both. So fill out either link to high res video or the video file upload, put those through and then, um, submit the form and then uh, we get everything submitted to us in a spreadsheet and uh, we'll reach out and i want to give a massive shout out uh, to pam kelly our asc up up in uh, northern michigan who is just fantastic she helps run this program with me behind the scenes and helps organize everything and sends the emails out to the agents when they're selected uh, if you are selected for um, a home of the week you will get an email ahead of time so like we, we normally do it in sort of two week bursts uh, so like if today's the 15th and your listing were to be run on the 29th you'd get an email today saying that your home is going to be run in two weeks so that you have a heads up so that you can tell your seller hey good news we're going to be uh, featured in a couple of weeks so you get that notification um and then she also sends, and, and she's been pushing me on this, which I, I appreciate so much. Uh, we, she also sends the agent the stats afterwards, after everything is done, um, to make sure that it is uh, that the agent understands the value of what's been going on, and that you, as the agent, or the agent, can then pass on those stats to the seller. Because it's not just like, hey, agent, here's what happened for you. I'm looking at the stats from uh, the one that we just finished. Pam just sent this out. Uh, last or uh, two days ago. Hi, Brian Brooke. It was our pleasure to feature your listing on the Home of the Week luxury Facebook page. Your listing was advertised in all of our markets. Uh, here are the stats from the campaign dedicated to your listing. 37,829 impressions. That was the number of times your ad was shown on somebody's screen. 12,323 video plays, which means they watched the video, not just like they saw it started and they moved on. They watched the video for a minimum of, uh, sorry, of 15 seconds. So they didn't just sit, uh, yeah, whatever. They sat there and watched it for a minimum of 15. And the, the watch through rate, the, not click through, the watch through rate of the videos is actually way higher than the average on a Facebook video for our luxury listings. And then a bonus because our videos, are, our ads are, um, geared towards video views, meaning we want people to watch the videos and see the listings. We also had nearly, we had 229 people click to the listing and actually view the landing page that was submitted for with uh, the, the agent's information and more info on the property. So we send that stuff to you afterward to make sure that you know what's happening with, the, with, with your ad campaign, but also that you can pass that on to your seller because that's just one extra thing that you get to say, hey seller, not only am I doing all of this stuff for your property, but our brand also just featured this as our luxury home of the week. So if your property is selected, the two main things that we do, we feature it in an ad campaign, a complimentary, not just we post it on the luxury page, we do a targeted advertising campaign across our social media and across our target markets in Michigan, Ohio, Florida, and the Virgin Islands. But we also post it to our Schmidt Luxury YouTube channel. Now, we don't do any advertising from there, but it's really nice to have it on YouTube, one, for a little bit of SEO, a little bit of search engine optimization, and two, YouTube videos just... Um, they, uh, they, they embed into websites easier. They're easier to connect into other platforms. So if you wanted to feature that video on your website or in an email and a, in a, in a newsletter or something like that, that video is an easier way to do that. So the main thing is the ad campaign. Uh, but the other part of it, of course, is, um, having on the YouTube channel as well. A couple of questions have come in. Yes. 
Who picks the property of the week? Is it random? No, Jeannie, it's not random. A Pam and I collaborate on this as a team, and we oftentimes connect in either Carrie or Tracy if we have a couple questions. Um, that's why we use the word consider because sometimes properties come in where the video is not, again, professional or it's not high res. Sometimes, and you know, Tracy talks about this a lot, sometimes just because it's over the price point doesn't mean it pops as a luxury listing, right? Just because it's over 500 doesn't necessarily mean it's a luxury home, even though it's a beautiful property. So that's why just because it's submitted, we, we also have bursts of homes where we get some, we, we've had it where we get eight listings submitted in a two week period. And we run these uh, home of the weeks for actually two week ad campaigns. So if we get eight listings submitted at the same time, we can't run all of those at the same time. So that's why we're selective and we make sure that um, the, li the listings that we're choosing are truly spectacular and fit all the criteria and are great. So it's, I, I would say it's a little bit of a committee, but it is absolutely not random. Um, and then where's the ad shown on social media? Yes, the ads themselves, the actual ad campaigns are shown on social, on Facebook, Instagram, the entire meta suite. So um, WhatsApp, Messenger, uh, in-stream articles, all of the things that are, are, um, are offered through, through that suite. So uh, again, all you have to do uh, as an agent or as, uh, and again, a lot of times I know it's you guys helping your agents do this and, and uh, kind of pushing, you know, uh, uh, pushing them along a little bit is simply going to Schmidt Resources, uh, going to the Global Luxury Square and clicking on the Home of the Week submission form. Uh, I don't think it's a bad idea if you even just bookmark the form so that you have it up there, but all an agent needs, really the only thing that is required in terms of content is a video. As long as we have, if they have some sort of high res video, all they need to do is fill out the form with their contact info. Um, one, and again, it's, it's their contact info, it's the listing address, um, the link to the listing on a website. So all this part means right here, guys, is literally, I just want to link to the listing, whether it's on your CB Florida Homes website or cobaltbanker.com. I mean, if you really want to, for whatever random reason, throw in a Zillow link with the thing that I don't want is an MLS link because those expire. Um, so send me a, a link there. Um, and then if there's some, this last section down here, is there anything special about this property that makes it unique and stands out? When we are working on the ad campaign itself, we are pulling from your marketing remarks to highlight certain features. But if there's something really specific that you're like, JD, I really want to make sure this is featured, that this is the part that we talk about, just write a couple of comments in there so that I know um, what you want me to focus on. You do not need to copy and paste the entire marketing remarks in there. That's not what that's for. That is just like, hey, make sure to talk about the fact that it's a smart home. Make sure to talk about the fact that there's this much frontage on the lake, something like that. Any other questions? A branded video is absolutely okay. Thank you. That's a great question. If you submit an unbranded video, I will always put branding on it. I, because this is not going in the MLS, I will always put, um, and let me see if I can just kind of play this in the background here. I will always put um, the logo, the, the address in there. I will always put the logo in there. And then I will always put the listing agent's name at the end of the video, if that's not already in there. So if you send me unbranded, I'm going to add to it. If you send me branded, awesome. So uh, whatever whatever you have is what I was is fantastic. Any other questions about luxury home of the week? Let's see what this one says. Can they send a link to YouTube? Uh, no, YouTube is one thing I cannot have because I cannot download high res videos from YouTube. That's why I, that's why when we go down here. I either need a uh, the actual video file. So that's why it says video file upload or link to high res video. And it specifically says not YouTube or Matterport. I need a Dropbox video or a Dropbox link where I can download a Google Drive link where I can download um, because a YouTube link is great for viewing, but I can't download that and then edit it from there. But that's a great question. Thank you. Because that is that is one of the big kind of misconceptions sometimes. Okay, well, just a reminder. Oh, 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 oh. what's the name of who posted that? Is it Schmidt? Um, it is, yeah. So, Stacy, this is CB specific. So, this is something that you and I can offline about because, of course, we're going to be doing our own thing soon with the elite page, but this is all CB specific. Um, so, as a reminder, this will go out in Blue Matters Monday. It will be one of the top two things in the email. One of the, the first thing will be uh, that the luxury training is actually I'll, I'll bring this up on screen real quick for for cb is that the uh luxury the next virtual global luxury certification course 
is in like two weeks. It's not next week, but it's the following. And then the next thing in this email and Blue Matters Monday is going to be the Home of the Week submission form. So if you want to, to push your agents to do it, it's going to come out Monday morning and then you can re-push it out to your office. I see a lot of you guys do that and remind them, hey, all you have to do is submit the video. And then if you get chosen, it's a free ad campaign. You don't have to do a thing. 